In this video, we'll learn how to use the new Plano Public Library online catalog. The first step is to go to our website, planolibrary.org. Once you're on the site, there are two ways to access the catalog. The first is a simple search box near the top of the page. In this, you can enter a search term and click search and it will take you to the catalog. The other is the catalog and account link slightly down the page. Click that. This will take you to the online catalog. While you can do a search without logging into your account, many of the functions of the catalog do require you to be logged in, such as placing holds. So let's go ahead and learn to log in. The login link is located up near the top of the page. Click that. From here, you'll enter your library card number and your PIN number. And click log in. And you're logged in. Let's learn to do a simple search. The search field is located near the top of the page. To do a simple search for the term gardening, I simply enter the word gardening in that field. By default, the catalog will search all fields in the item records. However, in this case, I only wanted to search the subject field. So I can click this pull down menu and pick the field that I want it to search and I'll click search. The search results are displayed. On the left side of the page, there are criteria by which you can filter these search results. You can choose to include or exclude specific criteria. For instance, if I'm only interested in items that are at Haggard Library, I can click the checkbox next to Haggard Library and click include. Now the search results only show items from Haggard Library. From here I can do the same thing with other filtering criteria. Now let's take a closer look at the search results. Let's scroll down the page and I see an item that looks interesting. Number three is the Flower Gardener's Bible. In the record for this item I can see the title, the publication date, the language it was published in, the format, in this case it's simply a book, the number currently available, the number of holds waiting on this item, and the number of copies available in the system. Below that I can see there's a copy assigned to Haggard Library and one to Schimmelfennig Library. For each of those library locations you can see the call number and you can see the section of the library where you'll find the book. If you'd like to see the approximate location of the item in the library, just click the Map It button. This will bring up a map of the library, in this case the second floor of Haggard Library, and you can see the item location highlighted on the map. Now let's take a look at item 2. You'll see all the same information presented, but in the case of this item you can see that there are currently none available, no one is waiting on one, and we have one copy in the library system. If there are zero items available, that means the item is likely checked out to another patron, or it's in the process of being moved to a different building for a hold request. In this case, we can see that this item from Haggard Library is being transferred between buildings right now. But back on our original item, number three, there are two copies available, and since I'm already logged into the account, I can place a hold simply by clicking the Place Hold button. This brings up a window in which I can pick the library location where I'd like to pick up the item. In this case, it's set to Haggard, but I think I want to pick this one up at Par Library, so I will pick Par Library and click Place Hold. The window changes and shows that the action was successful. I've placed the hold. Now let's take a look at the advanced search feature. To do an advanced search, simply click advanced search. This page will allow you to do a more complicated search. From here I could do my gardening search, but immediately limit it to books only. To do that, I'll go to the all these words field and type gardening. And under format type, I will pick books. And I'll click advanced search. 
you can see that the results page looks exactly like the results for the simple search. From here, you can still apply additional filtering criteria. For example, if I'm only interested in items at PAR library, I could click the checkbox for PAR and click Include. A very nice feature of the new catalog system is the Only Show Available button. When I click this, it's going to show me items that are actually in the library available for checkout. Let's go back to the Advanced Search page. One great use of the Advanced Search page is to look for DVDs. If I wanted to find DVDs on gardening at a particular library, I would again type gardening. And under Format Type, I will pick Video Disc and click Advanced Search. If I were going to be at Davis Library, I could limit this to the Davis Collection and click Include. And if I want to see only the things that are in the library right now available for checkout, I will click Only Show Available. And let's go back to the home page. The My Lists feature of the catalog will allow you to create lists of items meeting your own needs. This could be a list of items you intend to check out in the future, list of items that you've already read, or really anything. To access My List, simply go to the top and click My Lists. You can see that I've already created a list called Gardening. If I click that, it's going to display the items I've already put in my list. To add a new list, simply go to the Lists section of the page and click the plus sign. And I'm going to create a new list on Home Repair. So now I have a new list I can put some items into. Let's look at how to put items into one of your lists. I'll go up to the Search field and type in Home Repair. and I'm going to just look in the subject field and click search. And let's just pick a few items. I can select the items by clicking the check boxes. And up at the top of the page under select an action, I can click add to my lists. When I click that, it's going to give me a menu and I can choose the list I want to put these in. And I click add. You can see that those items were added to my list. I can double check it again by going to the My Lists link, clicking on Home Repair, and we see those items in the list. Now let's go back to the home page. Now let's take a look at the My Account area of the catalog. My Account is where you can pay any fees you may owe, check on your holds, see what you have checked out, and manage your account. So, from the home page, we will click My Account. You can see here that there are several tabs up at the top. The first one is Personal Information. You're going to see your address and contact information here. There's an option also for changing your PIN and an area for Preferences. The next tab is Checkouts. Here I can see all the items checked out to the account. I can also renew items by selecting them individually and clicking Renew, or selecting All and clicking Renew. Any items that can be renewed will be renewed. In this case, my renewals have been blocked because this account owes a fee. So let's take a look at the fee area. We can see that this account owes $50, and that's the yearly charge for a non-resident card. If I'd like to pay this, all I have to do is click Submit, and this will take us to the payment system and here you'll be able to pay the fee. You can also manage your holds from within your account. Simply click the Holds tab. From here you'll be able to see and manage all the hold requests on your account. So for this account you can see that there are three items with hold requests on them. You can see the titles, you can see the current status, you can see the pickup location that's been requested, the date that the hold request expires, and if you're still waiting in line for an item, your place in the queue. Using the buttons above, you can cancel holds, edit pickup locations, edit or suspend the holds, or you can cancel a hold suspension. 
All you would need to do is select the items you're interested in modifying and click the appropriate button. Finally, on the right side of the page, you're going to see a box that displays your current status, the checkouts, both digital and physical in the building, the status of any hold request, and any fees you may owe. And if you have any additional questions about the new catalog, please go to planolibrary.org, click the Visit link, and from here you can find contact information for each one of our library buildings. Thank you for watching.